So in the last couple of videos on efficiency, we've looked at just battery voltage and how that affects things. So now let's look at taking the same motor and just changing the KV and leaving everything else the same. Now we know from motor theory that KV does not affect motor efficiency at all. And that's the result that we're looking for in these charts. So the motor in this test is the Tornado T1 and I have the 2800 KV, 3600 KV, and 4100 KV all running on 3S. For clarity, just like the uh, battery voltage test, I've restricted these charts to show just the area of overlapping performance. So we're looking at the areas where you can get torque from all three motors. So we have a direct comparison. And also important to note that the spacing in the KV is not totally, the 3600 isn't exactly in the middle of the two. We've got an 800 KV jump between the lowest KV and the middle KV, and then only a 500 KV jump between the middle KV and the highest KV in the test. So the middle KV motor in this test, the 3600, is closer to the 4100 KV motor uh, than it is to the uh, lowest KV motor. The chart we're looking at right here is for that middle KV motor. And if we compare it with the 4100, whoa, the efficiency dropped. That's not possible. Theory must be wrong, numbers are a lie. So if we look from the middle down to the lowest, we should see an increase. Oh, but there's nothing here. This is exactly what we expect from the other test. Looking at the 2800 KV here and 3600 KV, these two are almost identical. And there's a huge gap in KV between these two motors. Now there's this little uh, section of particularly high efficiency here in the lowest KV that we don't exactly see in the middle KV one, but that can just be measurement error. And this is a fairly uh, small uh, region. The important thing is kind of the areas that all of these zones occupy. And they're in basically the same place. And also keep in mind, we have slightly lower resolution in this 3600 KV because we're only looking up to about 75% throttle, where the 2800 KV, we have more throttle steps. We've got all 100% throttle in this power range. So what's the deal with this 4100 KV motor? We are seeing a massive drop in efficiency. It's almost like, similar to the voltage differences, each of these bands is hopping up by one. So this middle band here pops down into the next kind of 10% zone. Of course, the motor theory is not wrong and it still applies just the same here, just as it does looking at the two middle and low KV options. As we talked about in the uh, KV uh, motor theory video, changing the KV of the motor does not affect the efficiency, but when you change the KV, you have to maintain the slot fill percentage. And so what's most likely happened here is the manufacturer is not maintaining the slot fill percentage between the 3600 and the 4100 KV motor. The 4100 KV motor is going to need thicker wire. So perhaps they're not using uh, proportionally thicker wire. They may be using thicker wire than is in the 3600, but if it's not all the way big enough, then we run into this problem where we lose efficiency due to the wire being too thin, not due to the KV being high. Or they could very well have just used the same gauge wire in the 3600 KV, and that might explain why we're seeing actually a fairly large efficiency drop compared to how relatively close, you know, only about 500 KV difference between the two motors. That's only a little over 10% uh, of the total KV of the motor itself. And there's no reason that this would be limited to only the high KV or highest KV uh, option in an offering. If a manufacturer isn't using exactly the right thickness of wire, uh, all of the KV options in a, in a lineup could have different efficiency from each other because the wire gauge is not proportional. And of course, there's very rarely just a single aspect uh, that like controls everything, you know, there are lots of different elements that go into motor construction. And if you don't get all of them right, uh, then you can have inconsistent performance in between a, a range of motors. So does it really matter if the efficiency loss in this motor is due to thin wires? Or if we just assumed that it was inefficient because it had high KV? Well, it doesn't matter why this motor isn't efficient. The fact is, it is inefficient. But the only way that we can know this is 
by testing it and looking at the real-world results that the motor gives us, or by being really critical about the parts that uh, go into it. You could tear the motor apart, try and measure the uh, thickness of the wire and the windings, and see if it's uh, the correct size. But even that is only a single factor in a fairly complex little piece of hardware. But if you make the assumption that the manufacturer is doing the correct thing and that there's nothing wrong with the build, you can count on that basic rule of thumb that it doesn't matter what KV motor you get, for the same amount of output power, all of them are equally efficient.